Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be making chow chow. We're going to walk you through the steps. As always, we'll put the recipe in the description or through the slideshow and we'll have everything put together. <music> Okay guys, that's pretty much it. The next step, all you have to do is put everything in the pot after you got everything chopped up. All the ingredients, put it all in the pot. And um, bring everything to a bowl. Make sure you have your lids heated up. Ours is getting ready to be simmering here in just a little bit. Make sure your jars are in the oven, heating up around 250 degrees. Leave them in there until you're ready to fill them. Now that you've got everything ready, all you have to do is bring your mixture up to a bowl. Once you bring everything to a hard bowl, immediately bring it back down to simmer. Let it sit for 20, 25 minutes and, or until you get the consistency you want. All right, guys, through the magic of time, you can tell ours is already finished. Now all we have to do is start filling our jars. So the next two steps are pretty important. The first thing you want to remember is make sure you leave a one inch head space under your jar and make sure you have a clean rim. Also, remember magnets work best when you're retrieving your lids. We lost our canning magnet, but we found a good substitute anyway. Alright, so while we're finishing up here, I thought I'd let you know this exact recipe makes eight quarts exactly. We made a bunch of half pints and one quart so we could give away some to our friends and family and keep some for ourselves. So if you try this recipe, leave us a comment below. Tell us how you like it. Most of these ingredients came from the garden, except for the dry ingredients and a couple of onions. Most of our onions are gone this year. So leave us a comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video, guys.